When I perform with my horses, I like to doll up my tack, um, but usually I take the tack that I already have, like my bitless bridle or my regular bridle, and I want to add like a pop of color to match my costume or for a photo shoot. Um, and, and people always ask me like how, how I'm doing my bridles, and really it's very simple. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a brow band similar to this one. As you can see, like I have, you know, a color with a little trim and a little rosette on there. Um, and this I used for an art presentation that I did with my horse. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with this. It's very easy. So I'm just going to take you through how to do one of these. Okay, so I have a new bridle here. Um, I usually do it with the bridle all connected together. I, I suppose you can take the brow band off and do it straight, but the problem with it doing it, trying to do it flat, is I think when you bend it, is you may have a problem with the ribbon all getting bunched up in the back. So I would, the way I'm doing it, I would do it like this, and then you can attach the things to the side. So if you're getting ready for a performance, you know, it's not gonna stay on there forever because you're doing it on a, your regular bridle. Um, it's also not gonna hurt your bridle because you'll be gluing the pieces to themselves, not to the actual leather. So we're gonna avoid uh, doing anything that will hurt our bridle. So we're gonna start with our base, which is a, ri a satin ribbon. And you can see the satin ribbons over here. We have some. I like this size, which is a says seven and eight inch width. Um, if you do anything, you can do wider, but I find that it's also hard around the edges to finish off the sides. And then you can do smaller, but it just takes a lot longer. So we're gonna pick a, we're gonna do the red base today. And so you, there's all sorts of fun ones you can do. So this will be our base color. And then once we do our base color, we're gonna put the trim on the front, which we decided would be, we're gonna try silver today. So you can see all the different ribbons. This is very similar to the one I had on the other bridle. Um, and sometimes you can find them on sale, like get a whole thing of trim for really cheap. Um, and you wanna have ones that are fairly soft. It's easier to glue the fabric to fabric. Um, you can use things that's like jewelry or pieces on strands, but you might see more glue because they're not as thick. So, this, so these are just some options. And then at the end, we're gonna add some detailing into the corner. Um, what I've chosen is I have, like when you go to the craft store, you'll see like all these pieces hanging in the jewelry section. And these kind of, these are not buttons. Like I'll use buttons and I'll use these kind of things. Something that has a, a side that you can glue onto it. Now if you had a decorative, like this is a decorative button. And these are really awesome because basically you have a, you know, a hole there. So there's enough space to put a lot of glue around when you're going to put it on. Or you can actually sew it onto the satin a little bit to make sure it's gonna stay. So any button can be sewn onto, you know, all the way around the brow band, or I just usually do something like really decorative on the side to save time. Or you can do flowers. So I like to get the, these are really cheap at Hobby Lobby, these are only $1.99. They're just wire wire flowers, and these are super easy to put around the edges or corners of your bridle because the wire helps you get it in place and then you can just put a little bit of glue. It's also the little wire flowers like this, or you can take a regular flower and just kind of tuck it into the uh, satin or cut it and, and um, glue it right on. So there's lots you can do with hot glue gun. Okay, so we're gonna get started. There's not really like a super fancy way to do this, but I usually start on one side and I come around the edge of the brow band so that I can kind of have a, a, a starting point. So I come around and then I'm gonna bring it over. So just put this down. So I'm gonna glue it on. Make sure the glue is ready. So once you get it started, it's pretty easy. So this just kind of holds it in place. There we go. And from there, I will start, and I probably do this different every time I do it, but for the sake of the video. Okay, so once you get it so it's gonna stay still, you can start to wrap it around. 
and when you're wrapping, try to go, I, I aim to go like halfway between, you know, half of each one so it stays pretty even. And if you know how long your piece is going to be, you can cut it ahead of time and it's a lot easier, but usually I am not always so good at cutting it ahead of time. Now every few ones, because it's pretty tight, it's not going to go anywhere, every few I will put a little piece of, a little bit of glue right here, like that, just so I know that it's not going to come undone anywhere. So I'm basically just working my way. So as I said, sometimes when I cut it, I don't quite give myself enough. I gave myself basically just enough. I do like to go around, the, I'm going to have to add a piece. So, so if you run out, you can always add. I'll just get this stopped first, right there. Because I'm going to need the satin around this part to glue to. So I just underestimated a tad. one enough to come around and then I'm going to glue it and I'll probably put one more little piece because if I was to perform with this I wouldn't want any reason for it to fall apart and you know something like this will stay together for you know multiple rides for sure you shouldn't have to worry about it and it but if you were to ride in it every day for a long time you would you would notice that it'll start to get dirty and I'll start to wear out a little bit So just if you end up running out of space, just kind of go over the end like this. Okay. Okay. Down here. Okay. So there's our basically our base here, our pretty ribbon. Now to do our trim is very simple. We're just going to lay it out the length that we want. And see, that's why it's important to do it this way because if you did it flat and then when you go to bend it, it might not quite be right. So find your length, give it a trim, and then just start at one side and work. This one actually has tape on it. I'm take that off. A lot with the glue, just. Oh, do we want to open the curtain? That better? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can either put the glue on your bridle first or on the trim. I usually put it right on the satin where I want it and then put the trim on. Decided to use these ones on the side for today but I like I said I do prefer to use buttons because then I mean this will stay fine I could actually sew through it so say I could put the neat sew the thread and then sew it on but I'm just gonna glue it on for today because it doesn't need to stay on too long so glue this first so you can see there's many different ways to do it it's just important to have that satin underneath so that you have something to glue to because other because you can't if you're going to glue to the leather it's usually will like detach because it doesn't it doesn't stick quite right now i'm going to use these wire flat or do you like these ones or maybe the little roses could do little roses all the way around or we could do the big ones mm Hmm. I like the big ones. Yeah. So here, the, these ones are easy because they're long. 
and kind of get it in the position that you want and and just wrap it back around itself any which way these flowers I buy a lot to do in the horses manes too because they work really well to just wrap around little button braids so I don't really need to go back up around. I'll just go around the edge of the brow band right there. Just there we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna do So, so you could go all the way around, or you could just do one, or you could do a big, you know, do a big flower, you know, on the sides, anywhere you want. But these ones are great because they'll wrap around and they're really cheap. And you can also do the brow, um, the nose band exactly the same way to have a matching nose band and brow band. Don't want anything to poke into your horse, so I would just twist that there. So that's our finished bridle, and here was my other one. And this one, the difference is that these were, these are buttons, um, and I just glued them a lot, which this one I've worn, I've used quite a few times now, so you can tell it's pretty dirty, but um, but at least you get the idea. There's just so many combinations that you can do. So I hope you give it a try.